Hello, I'm Carol Drinkwater. The Olive Farm is a love story. It's a love story about myself and a Frenchman that I met in Australia when I was filming over there. Uh, it was a mini-series for children and he was the executive producer. And during the filming he took me out for dinner. I'd met him just that first day and on our very first date he asked me to marry him. Well, I didn't take him seriously, but I didn't say no. When we came back to Europe, he invited me to go and visit him during the uh, Cannes Television Festival. And I had spent the, the decade before that looking for what I described as my house by the sea. So while he was busy off doing his chatting at the festival, I went looking around Cannes for my house by the sea. And everybody down there told me that I couldn't afford anything for the money I had to spend. On the Saturday, Michelle and I, that's the man that then became my husband, went up into the hills and we found with an estate agent this old ruin that had been built by Italians, which had once been an olive farm. Well, we were crazily in love. We had no money, but we decided to try and buy it. The olive farm is the story of uh, renovating that house, my discovering the south of France, the people who lived down there, Michelle and I discovering each other, and the difficulties we went through. It's, not, it's a joyous book, and it's a, a book with lots of light and funny moments in it, but it's also the story of a couple coming to terms with the difficulties that any, any new relationship brings to you. Um, we nearly go bankrupt. I have to uh, learn to live with his two daughters from his first marriage. And basically what it is, is also discovering that we have 68 400-year-old olive trees on the estate. And it's learning the celebration of making olive oil out of olives. The book on the whole is a real celebration of life and of falling in love falling in love with a place and falling in love with a man, the olive farm.